You know, it's almost like your birthday with a package from China, so let's go. Hey, hey, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in because in this video, we are going to take a close look at the Pandora's Book 10 edition, that JAMA. But we already did a review about it, but I want to do an in-depth close into the light gun situation. We're going to plug it in just to see how it's going to be actually working. We're going to combine it with an LC, not a CRT, because I don't have the option over here. But what we're going to do is also do a chit chat about everything, how you need to connect it. And all the thing is, yeah, this is not going to be super convenient because in this particular version, we need to have a special power supply that you normally find in your arcade machine. So I picked this thing up for a couple of dollars on AliExpress, but I recommend you always getting a good one. For me, it is just for a review purpose. Nevertheless, let's take a close look at it. Let's connect everything and let's talk about the light guns. <laughs> let's talk about the situation how to connect the power because with the previous model we had this splitter for your jack 12 volt or battle jack power supply this is not what we're going to need because we cannot even use this particular power supply no we do have the self the Gemma power supply just call it that and we're going to get ourselves this special attachment yep so this is the thing that we're going to use we're going to assemble this to the 12 volt line which you can see over here and then we're going to get ourselves the needed juice but let's say you have the problem that you do have the power supply but you have an old pandora's box that it hasn't been connected through the 12 volt over here but has a separate power supply because that happens but what you also can do is like get this cable already shown you before and just plug it in here and you can just basically hook it up to the power supply but also if you have like some spare like say room for an outer adapter you can just use yourself a barrel jack adapter and just plug it in here and have an extra adapter purely for the fire base hub for the light gun so there are different configurations it's all depending what is inside your machine we're going to get ourselves extra connections at the front we're going to get two of them for the power for the light guns two for the pedals and two usb for the light gun number one and two Regarding putting the sensor on your television, I really love the way how this works. When we're looking at the legs of the sensor itself, this is absolutely great. It can still slide and move around, but you can also use some putty tape or stuff like, you know, like the clays I'm using or some double-sided tape to assemble it and makes it extra sturdy. But the overall, I say this configuration when it comes to the setup of the sensors is super easy and I love it. So you can see that I need to press this still on because the LED was not giving any light whatsoever. Let's move this a little bit to the corner. Okay, we're ready to set and we're ready to go. There are so many different kinds of technology, but also qualities. I already mentioned before that the grip is absolutely great. But when it comes to the solenoid, it's a different kind of version we have seen with previous videos. Think about the Gunfire R and the Sinden. So it's also having a different feel. You have this spring that you can just feel in the inside and also let's see you hear what it is. Flabbergasted because the first time I booted up I couldn't find any light gun games. So I was thinking hey let's go to the start menu and let's see if there's any games there. Realizing they completely disable it. After some let's say, chit chatting with some people I realized I completely was like thinking on the wrong way because we need to go to the special menu pressing the tiny button at the back entering the settings menu here we can find ourselves the game config but game config we're going to get ourselves the edit game list when we're going entering this menu here we're having all kinds of options we can disable games show games but also emulators can be turned on and off and by going up you will see light gun games have been disabled. I think they did this because when they are launching this product, there were no light guns available. So we're just thinking, let's disable the light guns and don't make people confused. Okay, you can just disable in certain platform if you don't like it. For example, places portable if it doesn't run or have no games or one game at all. But that's it. Everything has been enabled. So let's go back to the main menu and let's test out the guns. Let's see if they are going to be any good. Let's save, not to forget. And it doesn't need to reboot this particular new model. The old models always need to do full reboot. We don't need to do that anymore. Let's go all the way back to the menu and indeed the light guns on here. But you still have the idea that there was something wrong with your light gun. Doesn't really work that well. You can do things. You can go to the settings and go all the way to the mumbo jumbo and settings thing up. Or another thing we can do 
you just grab this, unplug it, plug it back in, and it will automatically go into the settings. And over here we can check out if my Corsair is set up. I'm gonna say that I have the feeling it's a little bit too high in my opinion. So next thing we're going to do is set it all up with the button over here. I'm going to give myself some distance. And that's it. All right, it's going to be saving it at the same time. Oh yeah, that's much better. All right, so let's go with the other button and let's exit and let's just boot up again. Again. So what is convenient with one of the light guns, you can navigate through the menu with the analog stick. That is absolutely awesome. I'm just going to be honest, let's see which is the star button. <laughs> That's one over here. Here we can navigate through the game list. And if you have no light guns enabled, there is a way how you to enable that. So when in the menu, what we can do is just choose our game. There are a lot of them on here. And unfortunate, I do miss a couple of them when it comes to this first edition of Pandora's Box. One of them I'm missing, I think is Terminator. I don't see him anywhere. But let's just begin with point blank. Let's press the trigger and let's start them up. With different games we have different configurations. So this particular game is not needed to have rapid fire. So what we need to do is hold the analog stick, press the analog stick better said. And there we go. Full ultimate mode. Oh yeah, there we go. So when it comes to the next game, Confidential Mission, we can reload with the side button, super convenient. I don't know if you can hear it from the recording, but the music looks stuttering here and there. So this first version of Pandora's box needs absolutely an update because this game is not running perfectly. But from the right distance, it's absolutely accurate. Oh, by the way, if you want to go cheating, let's go to the main menu. And with cheating, I mean, you can put the crosshair on. There we go. Makes this game so much easier. So now you can just track where you're going. Oh man, that sounds really bad. Now it started absolutely crazy a lot. Let's start off with a classic game where we also go into need to paddle. Or this is in my opinion one of the coolest way to play. I did play it as a child a lot without a paddle. So everything is something you get you're going to get used to in the end. But I do feel that this gun is quite accurate. I'm going to hold it like that. Because there's a lot of pressure on the there's like a lot of pressure with the spring. It's absolutely crazy. I messed it up. Was it all? Nope. Now, I must say that when you're actually playing this game, this old school game that I played so many times on the Let's say original PlayStation with the recall and everything. This solenoid is absolutely great. So if you want to plug in Pandora's Box 10th edition in your arcade machine and want to have light guns, this is a very easy way to go to. The consideration with connecting the power of the hub, you need to have some different, let's say, cables, adapters, or you need a little bit more difficult than having a family edition. Nevertheless, also when it comes to the sensor, where are you going to place them? But this is absolutely a very easy, great solution. The Pandora's box isn't perfect because it does have like a little bit of a problem with a couple of games. But beside that, I'm hoping in the future they will make an updated version and fixing all of the issues. I want to thank you all for watching. Consider subscribing and it will be great to see you in the next video.